Hey guys, me and Lila are headed back from Toga US. We had a really good time, a lot of really cool cars down there. Uh, they let us put this car in the car show, which was really cool. Um, but this morning we had a knock event on my car. So let me show you the access port and then we'll talk about it, kind of what's going on and why you shouldn't panic um, when it comes to the access port and when you see some different numbers on there. All right, so you will see the dynamic advance is down at 0.938. The fine knock learn is negative 2.80 and max value of 0.37. So essentially what happened was I took off driving and luckily I just happened to look over and I noticed that um, there was a knock event and it was actually on the feedback knock was like negative four, which is kind of high on the knock side. And it went ahead and pulled the dynamic advance down at the same time. Now the car, I didn't feel any difference in the car, the way it drove, everything seemed fine. Um, so as a safety precaution, we went ahead and pulled over, got, went to the gas station and I grabbed some octane booster because I did fill up yesterday. We were suspecting maybe it was some bad gas, put the octane booster in there, came back out to the car, started it back up and it's been locked in at 0.938. Um, a lot of people kind of panic when you see that number change, the dynamic advance multiplier, but you don't have to, right? That's your ECU doing its job. It's pulled some timing because something happened in the motor that it didn't like and it's protecting your engine. So the worst thing you can do is reset your ECU. Um, it'll change your number back to one, but you're not really fixing the problem, right? Let the, let the ECU figure it out. It's gonna pull that timing, it's gonna pull your damn number down a little bit, and then slowly, incrementally work its way back up as long as there's not an issue. So it might take 15 miles, it might take 100 miles. Don't change the way you drive, you know, just keep doing everything like you normally would. And if there is an issue, it's gonna present itself. But ultimately, if it was just kind of a one-time thing, like in this case, hopefully I just got some bad gas, it will slowly start climbing its way back up. So don't panic. Um, everyone calls them a, a anxiety port, right? But ultimately, had I not had the access port, I never would have known this happened. You know, it didn't throw a check engine light. The car doesn't feel like it's running different. So, you know, it's best to just not panic right off the bat. Let the car do its thing. Give it a couple days, drive it like you normally would, and then keep monitoring those numbers. You will see on the fine knock learn, you're gonna start getting a positive value on fine knock. Let me show you here. So see how my fine knock is uh, negative 2.8 and then a positive 0.37. So that's the engine's way of slowly reintroducing time back to it to see if it's safe and see if the engine likes it and it can slowly reintroduce it from that number. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps out. See you next time.